Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about updated recommendation based crystal preset after unification update for all class. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, after 31 January 2024 maintenance update, Prebis just do massive update for crystal unification. And because after crystal unification update, so many crystal that got simplified like any kind of life skill crystal, either experience and mastery, and also they just delete certain crystal as I show you on this screen, and all this crystal just removed from the game. And because of removal for all this crystal, this is will impact with our crystal preset that we already used previously. And on my previous video, I also just share about recommendation crystal preset combination that I show you on this video. But sadly, because of this update, some of this recommendation crystal or the outdate. So right now, I will update my recommendation crystal for you. Okay, before I show you my recommendation crystal for any kind of daily use. To access this crystal preset, you just need to open your character inventory by pressing I. And then just click this transfusion icon to go to this crystal preset menu. And you just need to put any crystal that you have to crystal back by click this back icon. And then just move any crystal from your character inventory to this crystal inventory. And if you want to take back your crystal from your crystal inventory back to your character inventory, you need to extract it using black spirit essence that you can get it by purchasing it from per shop or free to play option using this crystal extraction tool that you can get this crystal extraction tool by processing magical shard and pure iron crystal as shown on this item description. But before you can craft this crystal extraction tool, you must finish special quest line from Tekkon NPC at Hadel City. And more detail when I show you how to do this crystal extraction quest line, you can check on this video guide. And originally you only can use 12 slot from this crystal slot, but another 2 expansion slot from this crystal, you can unlock it by finishing Land of the Morning Light Mine quest that I got you on this special playlist. And if you already finish all this Land of the Morning Light Mine quest until end of this chapter, you will get KKB Water 2 pieces that you can use it to unlock 2 pieces crystal slot by using these 2 KKB Water. And another 2 slot for this crystal preset. You only can unlock it if your awakening weapon or talent weapon from your character imbue by any kind of heart, either Karanda heart or Garmut heart. But if your awakening weapon or talent weapon imbue by Karanda heart, this is only will unlock one crystal slot only. But if your awakening weapon or talent weapon imbue by inverted heart of Garmut, you will unlock two crystal slot for your character. And more detail how to get this Garmut heart and also process it to become inverted heart of Garmut. You can check my special video about guarantee Garmut heart from quest and PT system from this video guide that you can find all this video reference in this video description. Okay, now I will show you some crystal preset recommendation that I recommend for daily use. First for life skill content. Actually about life skill content, this is already straightforward that you can choose either for life skill mastery by equipping this vital crystal, all of them. And also for life skill experience, you can equip this life crystal for all slot. And how to get this life crystal? After 7 February 2024 maintenance update, Prebis just update how to get this life crystal, either vitality crystal and life crystal. After 7 February 2024 maintenance update, you can craft both of this crystal directly from processing menu by using simple alchemy all this ingredient, either forest crystal 1 piece, 50 pieces trash of forest, 50 pieces magical shard, 100 pieces magical light stone crystal, and additionally you need 10 pieces bloody tree knot if you want to craft life skill experience crystal. And for mastery crystal, the ingredient is same, the different, you just need to replace 10 pieces bloody tree knot to become 10 pieces spirit leaf. 
And after 7 February 2024 maintenance update, you cannot craft this life skill crystal from Hyun Yong NPC anymore. So this is updated version to craft this life skill crystal after 7 February 2024 maintenance update. But if you ask me how to get all this material, you can follow my old video about life skill crystal guide on this video. Okay, that's all recommendation for life skill crystal either for mastery and experience. And additionally, you can use outfit crystal for movement speed if you have your outfit imbued by Black Spirit Claw. And more detail to unlock this outfit crystal, I already explained more detail on my crystal preset and new mechanic info on this video. Actually, this is introduction crystal guide that I share long time ago after previous revamp crystal mechanic. Okay, next recommendation crystal. For maximum experience, this is recommendation crystal to level up your character as fast as you can. And my recommendation for experience crystal set is using Girin Crystal One Piece that will give you combat or skill experience plus 75% and also any effect on this list. And then the rest slot, just use Resplendent Kitty Crystal Adventures on every slot on your crystal preset. And by using this configuration, this is will give you combat experience plus 375% in total and also skill experience plus 225%. And to get this resplendent Kid crystal adventures, the easy way to get this crystal, you can get it from seasonal content by finishing your season pass mission. As you can see, when you reach level 57, you will finish this season pass mission to get this resplendent Kid crystal box that if you open this resplendent Kid crystal box, you will get two pieces resplendent Kid crystal adventures. And if you already graduate from your seasonal character, this season pass will reset. And if you create another seasonal character, after doing graduation, you can finish this season pass once again and get another resplendent kid crystal box from this season pass mission. And gladly to get this resplendent kid crystal box, you didn't need to activate your black spirit pass, so this is free to play friendly. And more detail guide about seasonal content, you can check my special guide about Season Evil Green Full Guide to progress on your seasonal character. Okay, the next crystal recommendation. This is crystal recommendation that I use for any of my alternate character, especially for any character who didn't encounter any world boss. And mostly for my alternate character, I just concern about their movement speed. So after this crystal unification update, I just use chip crystal to get additional movement speed by using this Ancient Magic Crystal Histria, 5 pieces from this crystal preset, to get this movement speed character level until level 5. And the rest crystal slot is optional. You can fill the rest crystal slot to increase attack speed or casting speed for your alternate character. And you can use Ancient Magic Crystal Viper to get attack speed and casting speed at once, 5 pieces, to level up until level 5. Or you also can combine using Ancient Magic Crystal Karmai to get combination critical hit and attack speed. Or Ancient Magic Crystal Edis to get combination between critical hit and casting speed. And I very didn't recommend you to use any kind of crystal preset on any alternate character that you use to encounter any kind of world boss. Because as you already know, if you dead when defeating any world boss, you will get that penalty including breaking your crystal, so I didn't recommend you to use any kind of crystal for any alternate character that you use for doing world boss content. Except for character who doing world boss Muraka and Queen, because these two kind of world boss, if you died from them, you didn't get any death penalty, including breaking your crystal. And next is more complicated crystal recommendation, is about for PvE and PvP. First for daily PvE that I use, and this is any crystal that I use for my daily PvE character. Actually all of them, not cheap crystal. Okay, first crystal that I use for daily PvE is Girintir. This is the best crystal to get item drop rate, and also this crystal will give you additional stat as shown on this list. And you only can put this green crystal one piece on your crystal preset. 
And then the next crystal that I use for PvE is Visionary Crystal of Elkar. Function for this crystal to give you additional accuracy and ignore or resistance for your character. And I use this Visionary Crystal of Elkar to pieces on my preset. And then the next crystal for PvE is Rebellious Spirit Crystal. This is to give extra AP against monster and also extra AP, maximum HP, and skill experience. And I use two pieces of this Rebellious Spirit Crystal for my daily PvE. And the next crystal for PvE that I use is Crystal of Mysterious Darkness. And the reason for using this crystal is to get additional back attack damage and also additional AP and accuracy. And I use this Crystal of Mysterious Darkness to pieces from my preset. But this crystal you can replace it to become Corrupt Magic Crystal if you want to get critical hit damage buff from this type of crystal. So you can replace this Crystal Mysterious of Darkness to become Corrupt Magic Crystal depend on your needs. And next crystal that I use for PvE is Glorious Crystal of Glantari Akrat. And function for this crystal to give me additional attack and casting speed plus 1%. And additionally, you will get extra damage to monster and additional accuracy. And I use this glorious crystal of Glantari Akrat to pieces from my preset. And the next crystal that I use is Jin Magic Crystal Viper. This is to give additional accuracy for your character. And I use two pieces this Jin Magic Crystal Viper for my preset. And next, I just use this Dark Red Fang Crystal Valor One Piece to get additional two level critical hit for my character and also additional AP from this crystal. But I just use One Piece this Dark Red Fang Crystal Valor on my preset. And then the next crystal, I just use Crystal of Brutal Decimation because as you already know, previously I just use this Crystal of Mysterious Darkness to get additional back attack damage. And this Crystal of Brutal Decimation also will give additional back attack damage and some AP against monster. And I just use this Crystal of Brutal Decimation to pieces from my preset. But you can replace this Crystal of Brutal Decimation to become any other crystal like Crystal of Frozen Bitterness to get additional defense for your character against monster. Or Jin Magic Crystal Harpia to get additional evasion for your character. Because the reason using this crystal of brutal decimation is specific on my personal to get additional back attack damage. And you can replace it to become any crystal that you want. And the next crystal is additional crystal that I put on expansion slot. Because this two slot is additional slot that you will unlock if your character using awakening or talent weapon that already imbue by Karanda Heart or Garmot Heart that I already explained previously. And on this slot, I just use Glorious Crystal of Galantari All Cast. And function for using this crystal is to get attack and casting speed plus 1% for each crystal for my character. But because if you doing PvE content, sometimes you will do PvP content. So this is additional PvP crystal that will give you extra damage against human plus 7% and also some accuracy. But if you doing PvE content and defeating any monster that have human type, you will get 100% effect from this glorious crystal of Galantari Olukas. And if you want to know more detail about extra damage against specific type of monster on Black Desert, you can check my special guide about logo beside monster health bar guide to maximize your damage against specific type of monster or player on this video that I explained more detail about this monster type mechanic. And the last crystal that I use is my outfit crystal. I just use this ancient spirit crystal swiftness to get movement speed plus 2. Okay, this is combination crystal for my daily use on PvE content. And as I already mentioned previously, some of this crystal you can replace it to become any other crystal depend to get any status that you prioritize, either this crystal mysterious darkness and also this crystal of brutal decimation. And this is additional stat that I can get by wearing all this daily PvE crystal that I show you previously. And I think this is huge buff for PvE content. 
especially if you using any character that have slow attack speed because by using this PvE crystal set, you will get additional attack and casting speed plus 4% that you cannot get it from any other source. And next for PvP content, my recommendation crystal preset is using any crystal on this list, either Red Battlefield Crystal Viper 2 pieces to get extra damage to human, and also additional attack speed and casting speed from this crystal, and then 2 pieces Red Battlefield Crystal Karmae to get extra damage to human, and also attack speed and critical hit from this crystal, and then 2 pieces Jin Magic Crystal Harpia to get additional evasion and also max HP and HP recovery, and make sure you use it 2 pieces to get huge amount of evasion point, and then using this Jin Magic Crystal Viper to get additional accuracy, and also additional attack speed and casting speed, and just use 2 pieces this Jin Magic Crystal to get huge amount of accuracy point, and then about accuracy, I also use Visionary Crystal of Elkar to get additional more accuracy and also ignore all resistance so you can penetrate your opponent resistance from this crystal to give crowd control effect to your opponent. And then I just use this glorious crystal of Galantari Olukas to pieces to get additional extra damage to human and also attack and casting speed and some accuracy point and I just use two pieces of this crystal. And then I also use Crystal of Mysterious Darkness to get additional back attack damage to target opponent and I just use 2 pieces of this crystal to get maximum back attack damage. So if you using this Crystal of Mysterious Darkness, your aim is to CC your opponent and then give back attack damage to your opponent. But you also can replace this Crystal of Mysterious Darkness to become Corrupt Magic Crystal to get critical hit damage and if you wear 2 pieces this Corrupt Magic Crystal, you will get critical hit damage plus 22%. But be careful, this Corrupt Magic Crystal will reduce your damage reduction for your defense. And then the next crystal, I just recommend to use this Jin Glorious Crystal of Courage Ignore Knockdown Resistance. This is offensive crystal to make your opponent more easy to get knockdown or bound and also will give your character additional HP and AP but you can replace this crystal to become defensive crystal like this red battlefield crystal andamantin that will give you additional knockdown and bone resistance plus 25% and you can combine it to pieces to get 50% resistance for your character being knockdown or bound and also additionally you can get stun, stiffness, and freezing resistance for your character. And for outfit crystal, for PvP content, I recommend you to use this ancient spirit crystal valor that will give you additional critical hit level plus one. Okay, this is my PvP crystal recommendation if you're doing PvP content against another player. But as I already mentioned previously, some of this crystal you can replace it depend on your aim. Like this crystal of mysterious darkness that you can swap it to become corrupt magic crystal to change it to become critical hit damage. Or this Jin glorious crystal of courage, ignore knockdown resistance that you can swap it to become any crystal that you want. But I recommend you to swap it to become defensive crystal against crowd control. And this is the tail list and stat that you can get from this crystal combination for PvP content. But take notice silver cost from this crystal. This is just recorded from Central Market Price on NA and EU server at 5 February 2024. So this silver cost will change because this is based on Central Market Price. Okay, I think that's all my crystal preset recommendation. Either for life skill, get maximum experience for alternate character, PvE, and PvP content. And if you have any idea to improve this crystal preset, you can comment on this video comment section, and you also can share your crystal preset recommendation for any other use on this video description. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. Thank you for super thanks from Cute Lee Kitty, and also my current member, Dubia Dut, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Snot, Soren, Afrilka, Elfamilia, Drunken Video, Jeff, S Gold member. 
And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all new recommendation based crystal preset after unification update. Hope all this information can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.